How are you all doing today? Today, we're going to do a little cooking. What we're going to do is create our own coffee. And I'm not talking about the ground coffee that you get at your typical store. I'm talking about acorn coffee. That's right. You can use acorns to make coffee. And there's actually a history for this. Back during the Second World War, and this is how I found out about it, there used to be what was called erzatz, or erzatz, maybe say it in English, literally substitute coffee. And it was used because the real coffee was sent to the troops, so the people at home needed something to drink, right? So you, you know, there's this process of taking these acorns and converting it over to a coffee, a ground coffee at that. Now, to my knowledge, this is decaffeinated. I've made these for, I make these in the autumn. I've been doing this for like three years now, maybe four. So this will be my fourth, uh, like my fourth batch of making this. It's an easy process. It just takes a lot of time. So let's go ahead and get started on making acorn coffee. Okay, first, you need to gather some acorns. And I need to put out a caveat here. The acorns I have here I collected several weeks ago. They are at the end of their life cycle. To be honest, I got busy and I forgot I had them until just uh, today. And I realized, oh yeah, I got these uh, acorns I'm wanting to make coffee with. So I need to do this today. So here's what you want to pick. Here's some guides that will help you in both your coffee and uh, maybe other things you want to do with acorns. Number one, you want a nice, healthy acorn with no cracks. See right here, there's no cracks, no holes. If you see a crack that's a, like uh, right here, it's a good possibility, especially at this time of the year. It is now like late, it's uh, late November. These things are about wanting to hatch open, for lack of a better word, hatch open. And sometimes you'll see like a root trying to spread out. It's trying to grow in the ground. Or if you see like this, see like right that hole there? That means you got a worm that's been inside and it's not popping out. And so these are no good. This is good. But these are no good. So now, when you get your acorns, you need to either rinse them or let them soak. You need to get the tannin. Tanning, like you use in tanning furniture and stuff, is a very bitter substance. And, you know, it's just not fun to drink. So what we're going to do is we're going to soak it in here. You'll notice one cool thing about this now. The, uh, if you got your good acorns, they're usually going to be at the bottom. Your bad acorns are going to be here at the top floating. See, like right here, this one's floating. And look at this one. See how this one's got a hole and a crack in it? You can see the stuff coming out of it? Yeah. I'm going to do this twice. The first time, I'm going to let it soak for about 30 minutes to uh, get the tannins. Your little, this water will turn like a light brown. I'll dump that water out. Then I'll soak it one more time. And then after that, we're going to go to step two, which will be cracking and opening these shells. So, please stand by, and uh, let's just let these soak. Hold on. Okay, now, I have drained this once already, and so this is the second time I've let this soak in here. The total time has been roughly an hour. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to dump these out in the sink, in here, okay, so that way, you know, none of the acorns will get into the sink or get dirty. I want to keep them clean. But I'm going to put them here and let them dry. Then after they dry, I'm going to show you how to go to the next step, which is removing the case and grinding it up. So be patient and stand by. Okay, now, we move on to the next phase of this operation. These acorns are dry. Okay, let me get this out here. We have these nice dry acorns. So what we're going to do next, we've got to break them. What you need to do, see this uh, hard, you got this hard outer shell. You want to get rid of that, okay? And all you want inside is uh, what's often commonly referred to as the meat or the inner nut, right? So, you know, feel free to just get something heavy, like maybe this. This is like a little grinder, that, uh, I call it a grinder, that Koreans use to grind up uh, what wheat or whatever so we're going to use it for this okay so I just broke open the shell inside here's like the meat or the, you know the inner part of the nut what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put it in this bowl okay 
So I'm going to take all the acorns. I'm going to break these open, put the meat, if you will, inside here. Then we're going to move on to grinding and roasting. Stay tuned. I want to take a second to show you something here. So I've cracked open like a really big acorn. You see the white part here? This is the good portion. This is what you want. Usually, you're not going to want the brown. That's where it's like maybe a little rotten. So if you have some of that, like maybe peel it off, get rid of it. Truth be told, if you have a little bit, like which is on the edge here, it's really not going to hurt anything. Just a little's okay. But you do want to try to avoid getting uh, avoid as much as possible, because uh, you want good coffee, right? Not rotten tasting coffee. So look how beautiful that is. Just look at that. That's really beautiful right there. All right. Stay tuned. Okay, here we are. We're set up. Go ahead. Turn on the stove, right? Your oven. Let it warm up the pan for a second. It's going to help with the roasting. Now, you're going to hear things like, you know, put it on low heat, high heat. You might hear different recipes different ways. I'm going to try to get this to a little bit on the low side because I don't want to cook it too quick. But it really doesn't matter. It's about what you like. So let's go ahead and take this. So what this is just going to do is you're going to roast it, okay? So it's going to go from this light brown to like a dark brown. And you'll know when it's roasting well, when you start uh, not hearing, sorry, smelling a sweet smell coming from it. A sweet smell is a good smell. If it's burning, that's bad. And also, a lot of your... Yeah, let's call it your cookbooks and your typical by-the-book instructions for this. So just tell you how to make it with just the acorns. But hey, I'm a coffee fiend. I like to have a little cinnamon in my coffee. So what I'm going to do with this, not at the moment, but towards the end of this when it's ready, I'm going to dip some cinnamon in there, or sprinkle as the case may be, so that those are going to roast together. And that's, that's my, my special blend. I like adding cinnamon to my um, acorn coffee sweetens it up a little bit and so you know when you do your own acorn coffee just create your own recipes and your own blends basically I usually create a dark roast with this but it really doesn't matter what roast you make as long as this stuff here gets roasted properly it's all good to go so I'm gonna stop here and when it gets a little you know closer toward the end I'll kick it back on Okay, the roasting is going along just fine. You see how it's clumping together? It's normal with the acorns. If you notice here, oh, let me get this back in camera. See how it's getting all dark there? Try, yeah, there we go. It's kind of getting dark. That's good news. I'm going to keep working on that. And also, while I was uh, roasting that, I took all the large chunks and all this powder that didn't go through the first time, the colonator. I put it in here and I'm going to re-grind this one more time. I want to get this as fine as possible and I'm going to add it to this roast. So now the roasting is going along just fine. I'm going to take a little of the cinnamon, sprinkle it on there because I want that to roast with the acorns. To be honest, you don't have to do this. You can like wait until after this is roasted and then just add your cinnamon, but this will give it a more interesting uh, flavor, if you will. But either way, it's going to be great and it's going to smell good. And it does smell good. Oh, yeah. And it does have a sweet smell to it. Like, So I took those large clumps that were in there, and I told you I had that uh, those scraps, if you will, and I was going to roast it. But I decided to kill two birds with one stone. Or maybe even contradict myself a little. Instead of like say, taking my spoon and cutting these up, I decided to throw them in here, grind it up, mix it with the the, uh, the next batch, the stuff that hadn't been uh, chopped up and roasted before, 
and I'm gonna get continue on with it. So let's get this back on. Okay, here we go. Oh, it smells good. You know, I gotta apologize. I don't do this stuff scripted, okay? So if I like slightly contradict myself or go back a little, I'm sorry. Just stick with the general idea. This is, I will say, this is something you're gonna want to play around with. Because no matter, and I learned this actually from, you know, following other people. You really cannot watch a video and get, or read a book and I guess get it right. You gotta play around with this to see what works for you. And uh, when it gets a little further along in the roasting, I'll kick okay. this camera back on. I'm back again. See how, it, this is like, <laughs> how smoky and everything is. So this roast is done. It's kind of like a mix, the, the light brown is the new stuff I added. The darker brown, even black, that's the stuff that was from the original batch. So basically I'm going to mix two different roasts together. We're going to have like a dark and a medium roast together. And it's going to be just fine. So you turn off your... So, next, get your favorite coffee filter. See, so like this one. I'm just going to simply take my hot roast here, my fresh roast. Put it in there. I'm going to get enough for about two cups. And let's turn that camera around over here. There you go. Put it in there. Well, it's done brewing. After it brews, add your favorite cream, sugar, anything you like in it, and enjoy. Oh, that is really good. That is super good. Have a great day. Bye.